Let's slide on into our Christmas special. Hello and welcome to Lehigh River Subdivision's Christmas Special for 2023. I'm Santa Claus if he had ADHD and couldn't sit still. So let's get into our Christmas Special. So what could you expect to find in our Christmas Special? One, we're going to show you the boys enjoying the Christmas layout that you see before you. We're going to go out, we're going to catch the last Santa train of the year on the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway and we'll check out the first freight train to run the main line after Christmas Day, as well as we'll take a walk in Lehighton Park to check out their beautiful trees, all lit and decorated for all to enjoy. And finally, somewhere in between all this fun, we will be doing the giveaway for the five prints. We had 16 entries, so there's pretty good odds to win. So. If you're in here watching this premiere, you might want to hang around and see if you win. And uh, we did a really fun way. We got Cam involved. I'm not going to say too much. We'll let you check that out when we get to that point. So what we're going to do first before we hop into anything is I had some mail calls. So first, let's take a look at the Christmas cards. And this one coming to us from Stormy Sky Rail Productions. Really nice card there, as you can see. Good, thank you, we appreciate it. Uh, we got one from Jerry Satterelli. Merry Christmas, box card, Jerry. Really nice card with the Pennsylvania E8 on it. And the Stormy Skies had the, the Canadian Pacific Christmas train, which was really cool. And uh, Jerry threw in a postcard for each one of the boys of a Pennsylvania steam engine at uh, the Railroad Museum of uh, Pennsylvania. I believe that's where it's at. And then there was one last Christmas card and that was from Pappy. So nice little Merry Christmas card. We appreciate it Pappy. So thank you to all three of you for sending Christmas cards. Um, Next, I ordered, if you haven't noticed, um, last year I did the calendars. Uh, did a giveaway for the Ditch Light production calendars. Um, so we had a mail call from him again. I uh, have two calendars that are gonna be given away at another time. There'll be a video for that, so there's no contest in this video. Um, but he sent, I had purchased uh, this t-shirt, if you haven't noticed yet, I really like his logo, it's the, like the Lehigh Valley flag. So we got that, and then on the back, uh, we got the DLP Dislike Productions. So I really like this shirt. Um, I bought it back in May, and uh, I told him that we'd probably bump into each other, but that didn't end up happening, so when I ordered the calendars, he sent that along. So I do have one of his calendars. And like I said, I'll be doing, uh, giving away two of these. So what we'll do is take a look through the whole calendar then to not run this video longer than it needs to be. And then there was two other things that he sent along for us, which was really, really nice of them. And that was a uh, Rail Pace magazine. And I am gonna open this up to show you the reason why he sent it. So if you want, you can go out and check out the December 2023 issue. And uh, Adam has a lot of features in the Rail Pace magazine. And uh, this is the one that he had in this one. And it's a night shoot at the Sterling Museum. So I highly recommend picking this up and checking out Adam's uh, feature in this magazine. And then uh, a North Shore calendar. So that's pretty cool. So the North Shore Railroad is a collection of smaller railroads um, in like central to like out by uh, State College as well as Williamsport, Pennsylvania. So that is everything 
for the mail call. Now that we're done with the Christmas special mail call part, let's hop into some fun. And I think what everyone's gonna enjoy most out of this whole video, and that's watching Cam and Luca enjoy this Christmas layout. Because if you think we enjoy it as adults, just wait till you see their enjoyment. So let's hop on into that. As you can see, the boys love the Christmas display. And if you notice, I've changed up my shirt and that's because I missed this earlier in the mail call part. And I wanted to show it now. This is a Minnesota E&E. &E. Our friends up at the Minnesota E&E, &E, I purchased a shirt from them. Uh, they had sent Cam one a while back. Awesome father and son and family that uh, enjoy time together doing train things like we do. So it was awesome to uh, support those guys. So. Now, Cam and I are gonna take you out to do a little Christmas rail fanning, and then we're gonna do our drawing. We got the F units, Christmas Eve, last train with Santa aboard before he had to go out and deliver all the presents to the good boys and girls of the world. And the first North Reading Fast Freight after Christmas on December 26th, we got an awesome shot for you. So let's go check that out.
it's time for the drawing. So I got some helpers here. We got Cam and Luca, and we're gonna do the drawing part of this video. So we had 16 entries. I have them all here on a piece of paper. And what we're gonna do is fold them up and put each one of them in the yeah. Cam's stocking. And we're gonna let him pick the winners. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put these in here. Okay, this is the last paper. Okay, so what I'm gonna do quick is take it and shake it up real good. I'm gonna shake, 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 shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, hold on. So, for the first picture, the image of the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway. Go ahead, Cam. Here, you get to pick. Pull a paper out. Just one. Just one. Okay. Open it. And our first winner is the Plumber 33. So for our second print, it's going to be the 2102 in the fall season. Here, you get to pick another one. Ready? We're going to shake it up again. Go ahead, pick it out. Pick one, just one. Just one. You got just one? Who is it? Let's see. Our second winner is Long Shadows Model Trees. Okay, so our third print is the F units along Route 443 in South Tamaqua. During the fall season, we're gonna shake, shake, shake. And go ahead, Cam. One, just one. Is it fun? Did you get just one? Put one back. <laughs> oh, here. And the third winner is Mike P. 1030. So you won the F unit print. Come on, Cam, another one. So the fourth print is gonna be the F units on the Coldport Trestle in the Lehigh Gorge. A big train. Okay, hold on, hold on, you gotta pick. Pick one, pick one, just one. You got just one? I can't see. Who is it? Who is it? Our fourth winner is Rich Green. And he wins the F units on Coldport Trestle. And the last print that we have to give away is the North Reading Fast Freight at the Coldport Trestle. So let's go ahead, Cam. We're going to shake this up one last time. And go ahead. Pick us a winner. Just one. Just one. No, put them all back. I'm gonna shake it. You got like six. That's not fair. Hold on. Hold on. Just one. Just one. Just one. You got just one? Yeah. Okay. Just one. And our last winner is Drew Steel 69. So we want to thank everyone for joining the contest. And these are our winners. Let's move on to the next thing in this Christmas video. Thanks for watching. Come along with us as we take a walk through Lee Heightens Park in the dark to see all the Christmas trees on display. They've been doing this event for quite a few years now. And people come and they decorate a tree. You can do it in honor of somebody. People do it to promote their business. Um, any reason. Um, so what they do is they have all these trees brought in. Uh, you pay to decorate a tree. They get the tree for you. You decorate it. Put your lights on it. And then they run a 
you need an extension cord to hook into their power source. But uh, they provide the electricity for all the trees and uh, it's really a beautiful thing. So these trees are kicked off in an event every year called Lee Heighton's Christmas in the Park. Um, I believe it's in November sometime, the end of November. Uh, they light all the trees at once and um, there's vendors, you know, food trucks, cater not catering trucks, but like, uh, you know, like a french fry stand, that kind of stuff, carnival food. Um, but it's really cool. Um, we've never been down to that event, so hopefully we can catch that next year for all of you. But what we're going to do is take a stroll through the park. There's the lower park here with the fountain, which you can see that has the LED lights to make it look like water's flowing out of it. Cam loved the fountain. Um, and then there's an upper park where there's an amphitheater and a really cool old brick building. So we'll take a look at that. So I'm going to finish talking now about this and I'm going to let you enjoy the sights with some music.
thank everyone for joining in tonight to watch the premiere of the Lehigh River Subdivision Christmas Special. A uh, little different than what we normally would do, um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I thought it would be fun for everybody to uh, put a hodgepodge of what we do here at the channel into one video. So you got a little rail fanning, uh, the modeling with the Christmas display, and then sometimes we get some cool family outings like uh, checking out the Christmas trees. I really hope you like that part. Um, can love those Christmas trees. I can't uh, say enough how much fun it was to drive by those in the car and uh, see him light up and talk about them. So that, that was a special uh, night for us to take a walk through the park and uh, let him really enjoy the trees because he loves seeing all the lights and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that part of this video. Uh, I want to say congratulations to all the winners. My uh, email will be in the description for all of you to email me your addresses. And then once I have all the addresses, I'll make one trip and send them all out. So don't be the person that holds up everybody <laughs> uh, from getting their picture. Um, with that being said, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I, I am thankful and grateful for all the support and the continuous 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 growth of the channel um it means a lot so thanks for watching we'll see you over the home